Hi everyone, welcome to Face to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our week ahead readings. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm still not 100% recovered, so bear with me if my voice goes at times. But I, I am doing like individual uh, readings for each sign to try to get back to the typical format. Um, speaking of format, I'm gonna try something different. I had an idea in my head and I just do what I'm, t do what I'm told. Um, so we're going to do a little different uh, type of format. So you're going to have to tell me if you enjoy it, if you find it useful, helpful. Uh, did I say this is going to be for Pisces? If I did not, this is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. You can cross watch if you want. But uh, take what resonates as it resonates with you. Don't force a message. And uh, information for private readings is always in the description box below. You have other timeless weeklies you can check out, and I am going to be working on the October monthlies. I got all my weird, wonderful, creepy decks out. I cannot wait. <laughs> I should use them more often. I shouldn't just have to wait till, you know, October, Halloween time, whatever. I probably will. Okay. So, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much if you have. It really, really helps out the channel, and I appreciate it very much. So let's see what's going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in the week ahead. What's going on for Pisces in the week ahead? Okay, here's what we're doing. We're doing overall energy, mindset, mood, focus. Over here we're doing your general, I just call it general because it's like work, career, finances, business, education, any legal matters you got going on, anything else you got going on. And over here is going to be your emotional and love life, emotional life and love life. So dealing with your loved ones, whether they are friends, family, partners, exes, crushes, new people. Okay, and this is the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg. If I haven't said it, I don't think I have. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy might be significant. The Queen of Swords could also be your energy where you're a bit, you're, you've closed off emotionally from something or someone, right? And you're just focused on the facts and you're focused, it's like you're not letting emotions get the best of you. You're not letting emotions be a factor in you making your decisions when it comes to something, right? But I do see you having to make a decision or several decisions to do with something that either you have history with or it has not been a positive experience but you're like I say you're trying to not let your emotions positive or negative towards something or someone cloud your judgment and you're trying to make a fair decision okay and for those of you this could be legal matters where a decision is coming your way let's see okay overall tone here we have the four of coins, the nine of coins, very good, and the moon. For some of you I hear you could be dealing with a cancer, doesn't have to be. Um, good news in terms of money, definitely. You could be seeing some sort of an increase in your finances, whether that's a promotion, a raise. Um, doesn't just feel like a bonus. It doesn't just feel like a one-off. It feels like something added to your current level of security. There's something that you don't see coming though with the moon card, so it'll be a surprise. So either you're expecting to get less and you're getting a lot more, or you're not expecting anything out of a situation and it, it gives you a lot. And this could also be your personal business, your home-based business taking off at this time. This is, you don't expect this at all, okay? I get a message like if you're planning to start something around the new moon, which is like tonight or tomorrow when, our, when I'm filming this video, or whenever you watch the video, when, if you're planning to start something at the next new moon, this is a confirmation to say yes, yes you have the right idea, yes it's time to get going, plant the seeds however you can. Okay, let's look at the general. What's going on? We have the five of swords. The Three of Swords, only that nice. The Fool, I do like that. Whatever drama's going on, you're not, you're not a part of it. You're not getting involved. You're like, nope, not today. 
the king of coins taurus virgo capricorn energy the two of coins okay and the empress in your outcome or where things are headed very nice listen this is you beating out the competition for some of you so whatever it is that you're working on and you've had to go through an application process whether it's for a job or a permit or loans mortgages or you're in a legal battle with someone okay you're beating out the competition you're coming out the winner okay something is coming to a close here you're beating, beating out the competition not everyone's happy but echo you know what i mean whatever is going on it's fair that's why you have the queen of swords there whatever's going on it's a fair decision so you don't feel guilty about it don't feel bad about it you worked for this you worked your behind for this behind off so i don't have to say your ass off but there you go i said it anyway and you're very very happy it's something you were very worried about you're not worried about it anymore and definitely definitely money increasing because you have the king of coins and the two of coins if you have like a job and a business on the side they're both doing well for you it's usually one or the other or it's usually one that does better than the other they're both doing very well for you in the week ahead you're going to see money come from both directions is what i'm seeing okay because you're receiving money from two separate sources and the emperor stands for growth i'm also again i'm seeing either a promotion here because there's an increase in responsibility that comes with this increase in stability and finances and reputation it's like elevation here with the empress okay um for those of you that has this has been a very bitter battle battle if i can get my words out but that wasn't my fault uh over custody or child support and it's going to go in your favor and i feel like not only this is what you're expecting you're expecting to get what you deserve but because it's been going on for so long and because the other party has been doing shady stuff you're getting compensated on top of what is what you asked for in the situation does that make sense you get in custody you get in full custody you get into child support or spousal support for some of you and then and then some because of the stress they have caused and because time they have wasted because something is being revealed here with the moon card so if someone's been lying or someone has not been declaring stuff that's coming out and it's gonna bite them in their own behind because it's karma right you can't be doing that so you're getting what you asked for and then some I'm definitely seeing, yeah, like I say, just beating out the competition. So if you if you want to go for something, go for it. Just go for it, okay? Don't be intimidated by other people, what other people are doing. You don't know. You know, don't go by appearances. They may talk the talk, but they have no idea how to walk the walk. And in an interview or in a test setting, that'll come out, right? So don't worry too much about what others are saying and doing and their opinions about things go for it with the fool i do see like interviews or face-to-face -face meetings or negotiations happening here and you're the best candidate they they have ever seen you don't know this about yourself but you're not gonna know until you put yourself out there right so i hope this makes sense okay let's look at love life here emotional life and love life we have judgment well, ain't that a shocker because I'm recording this during Mercury retrograde. King of Clubs, King of Wands here. The Emperor. The Falling Tower. Seven of Swords. What did I say? I'm telling you, these are combined for some of you. You've been in a legal battle with an ex or with the father uh, of your children, mother of your children, or... Um, family somehow but i'm seeing like a one-to-one -one relationship like a spousal thing uh, or a couple thing where they have been doing shady stuff not declaring things i have the mother in here with the with the empress and i have the father in here with the emperor right it's coming out it's coming out whatever they've been hiding whatever they've been trying to get away with it's coming out okay and judgment is being called on it 
and the two of clubs at the bottom here in terms of outcome. And you can be done with the situation, right? It's just confirmation for some of you. For others, this is like surprise revelations. This is things you've thought of, suspected, told yourself you're crazy for making it up. And it comes out and it's like, oh, it was exactly that. Could it be, it could be around an Aries or fire sign Aries Leo Sag or a significant other in your life or a mother figure, father figure, fi mother or father figure, right? Because these are like the parents of the tarot. There is something coming out about, like I said, something you had suspicion around. It's something you, you already knew, but you didn't, you weren't sure, right? It's coming out. I also see, I hear declarations. Oh Lord, get ready, Pisces. What in the world? Someone, an ex, you haven't seen or spoken to them. Trust issues might've been at the root of what caused this tower to fall or someone just not being open. It doesn't, the seven of swords doesn't always have to be lying, cheating, stealing. It can be, right? So if that's your story, that's your story. But for others of you, this is coming across as someone who just has trouble opening up and they're very careful. They're always careful about what they say because they don't want to be, you know, exposing too much of themselves. They don't want to make themselves vulnerable. So they're always careful. They're always strategizing. And it comes across as lying sometimes and it comes across as game playing and it comes across as manipulation because to an extent it is. But this is this comes from their own insecurities, right? For for some people. And I feel like Because you've been out here doing your thing, Pisces, looking awesome with that nine of coins. You're like, I don't need this. I don't know if they expect you with the four of coins to not be able to live without them. That's a little dramatic, but hey, right? I feel like they were the ones that wronged you here because you have the queen of swords energy. They were the ones that wronged you. Um... Maybe they never quite owned up to it. Maybe they never quite talked about it. They might have said sorry, but you're like, I don't think you mean it, but I don't even care anymore. Okay. But this was a very significant connection with the Empress and the Emperor coming out. Okay. Now. You know what this feels like? This feels like an outpouring of emotion. They can't stop themselves once they start. They have always been so cautious, cautious and so reserved that once they open up, like the, the floodgates open. Did I say that to you last week? I think I did. And they're not going to be able to stop themselves until they get it all out. Everything. Everything they have been holding back. Everything they have been hiding. Everything they have been you know, didn't want to talk about it, didn't want to open up, didn't want to make themselves vulnerable. Whatever else they were doing they were not supposed to be doing, whatever this is, it's an outpour of emotion. And so that puts you in a position with the two of wands of, okay, what now? Do you continue to have this person in your life work through things if you can? Or do you take that as final closure, shut that door, bolt it up, and then just keep walking in this new direction that you've chosen for yourself? Stay single, keep focusing on yourself, don't go back into this, whatever the case may be. You're going to have a choice to make. There is definitely, whatever the scenario is, Pisces, and whether it's going on in your love life or with loved ones, someone is just pouring their heart out. And it might... You might question what they're saying because you're like, I don't even, because it's so emotionally charged. You might look at this individual and think they, they must be drunk. That's why they're saying this. They must be under the influence of something because it's just so unfiltered, right? And you might look at it with the Queen of Swords attitude and think that's a little dramatic, but they just can't hold back anymore. They just can't do it anymore. Because they want a second chance. Because they want to show you they can do better. 
with judgment. So Pisces, you're about to have a decision to make here that you do not anticipate having to make. Although for some of you, you do kind of, you, you did see this coming, but you told yourself maybe you're making it up. You know what I mean? That happens with us Pisces. But uh, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. I'm not necessarily seeing new people because I don't think you're you're bothered about new people. You're in the Nine of Coins energy and the Queen of Swords. You got I got better things to do. I got goals. I got you know what I mean. I got priorities. I'm working on myself. You're not necessarily interested in new love. But uh, yeah, expect this confession, this outpouring of emotion that's going to take, it's going to blindside you. Either you don't anticipate this person saying these things to you at all, or you don't anticipate the intensity of it, or you don't anticipate just how it's coming out. There's something about it that is very, it really takes you back. And then you have a choice to make. And it will be up to you what you do. It will be up to you. Okay. Yeah, Seven of Cups. That will put you in a position of, okay, what now? And you're trying not to let emotion get the best of you. Now, I do see the Ace of Wands under that and the Ten of Wands. So, for some of you, it might give something a second chance in the world. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because it's unfinished business. That chapter of whatever went down, that is finished. This outpour is wrapping up that cycle, okay? So you can have the full information. Everything's out in the open. Not to pick at it and to hash anything out, but for you to know. It's important for this person that you know exactly what was going on. Right? Ten of Wands. And then you can be done with that. There is a new beginning, though, with the Ace of Clubs. So I feel like for the most part, you will give this person another chance. Uh, take your time with it. Move at a slow pace with it. Keep your wits about you. That's exactly what you'll be doing. But you're like, I'll entertain it. That's the two of wands. I'll entertain it. Let's see where this goes. Let's take it one day at a time, one step at a time. See where it goes. Pisces, you'll have to tell me. You'll have to let me know what this is. Okay? Um... And let me know what you think of the format, if you find it useful and uh, you enjoy it. I do, but let me know. Um, watch your other placements. Thank you so much for all your wonderful support. Have a wonderful week ahead, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.